Hello, and welcome to the ninth video in the Getting Started with the STA UHD Producer Plugin video tutorial series. The UHD Producer Plugin, made by Sonic Tier Audio, is a new panning plugin that allows for flexible panning and monitoring of immersive formats that Pro Tools doesn't directly support. Inline console routing is an age old technique, often used when recording, but it can be used in a variety of situations. Earlier in this series, you learned about basic session setup and signal flow when using the STA UHD Producer Plugin. This tutorial will show you how you can use inline console style routing to give you a different mixing workflow. Inline routing takes its name from the many traditional mixing desks out there that have both input and output signal paths in their channel strips. You'll hear inline routing sometimes referred to as the inline console technique. Let's start by reviewing what inline routing is not. Normally, when a signal is recorded into a DAW like Pro Tools, it's recorded pre-insert and pre-fader. That means that any effects on the track or volume changes that you make on recording track, though it will affect the monitored signal, will not affect the audio file being written to the drive. In this example, the EQ and compressor I have on my audio track won't be applied to the file that I create when I record, nor will any of the volume changes that I make during recording. Since the file has no effects or real-time volume changes applied to it, you have a clean audio file to work with, allowing for a great deal of flexibility with regard to what effects and levels that I choose in the mixing phase, which suits many situations best. Sometimes though, you might want to have your volume changes and effects printed to your audio file when recording, and that's where inline routing comes into play. It's easy to set up. First, create an auxiliary track and set the input for your incoming audio. Instantiate and tweak the plugins that you want to print to your audio file. Next, create an audio track and route the output of the aux track, which controls your input, to the input of your audio track. That's it. With this setup, the aux track is your input track and the audio track is your monitoring track. Effects and volume changes made on the input track will affect the signal going to the input of the recording audio track and so will be applied to the recorded file. Any effects or volume changes you make on the recording audio track will affect monitoring only, but not the file that is created. So in this case, the changes that I make on the input aux tracks plugins or the tracks volume will affect the recorded signal as you see here. That's traditional inline console style routing used from time to time, particularly when recording. Now let's apply this same logic to mixing with the STA UHD producer plugin. In the second tutorial in this series, you learned about how the STA UHD producer plugin deals with signal flow. Let's quickly review. First, signal comes into your session's tracks as normal, either via a live input, as would be the case with an auxiliary track, or via clips on an audio track. Next, signal goes into the STA UHD producer plugin, which resides on an insert on each track contributing to your mix. The processed output of the plugin goes through a dedicated summing connection to two STA plugins that are instantiated on two 7.1 auxiliary tracks. These plugins take all of the input from the outputs of all the STA UHD producer plugins elsewhere in your session. This means that any insert after the STA UHD producer plugin won't be routed to the summing engine and neither will Pro Tools volume levels, divergence, soloing, muting, or pan. Now, of course, you could do all of those things in the expanded pan window of the STA UHD producer plugin, but using an inline console signal flow would give you the ability to mix using Pro Tools normal faders on a track, plus pan, mute, and solo controls. So let's get down to the business of setting things up. We'll use some recently added Pro Tools features to make the workflow easier. On each source track, for example, an audio track that you want to include in your mix, go to the output assign button, click it, and choose new track from the drop down menu. In the new track dialog, choose auxiliary input as your track type. When it comes to the track width or number of channels, you have a choice to make. In many cases, you'll want to use the same format as your source track, but you don't have to. In the eighth tutorial in this series, we discussed the STA UHD producer plugins take on divergence versus the Pro Tools implementation. If you want to be able to use both kinds of divergence, you can choose a 5.0 or 7.0 aux track as a destination. Next, click Create and the new destination track will appear. Now all that is needed is to instantiate the UHD producer plugin on an insert of that destination track. Set the output of the destination track to an unused bus and you're done. It's that simple. It might take some time to set everything up, but here's the payoff. 
Not only will you get the use of all the inserts on your source track, but you can also use solo, mute, and volume controls on the tracks just as if you were doing a traditional mix within Pro Tools. Your STA panning will be done on the UHD producer plugins instantiated on the destination tracks. And that takes us to the end of our discussion on inline signal routing and the STA UHD producer plugin. Other videos in this series will look more in depth at how to set up your Pro Tools sessions, different features, and even some tips and tricks. To learn more, visit sonictieredu.com learning.